guys, how's it going? Let's play game of NBA 2K20. Today we got the All Decade 70s team represented by the Knicks versus the All Decade 80s team represented by the Lakers. So it's going to be the 70s versus the 80s. Let's see who wins this one. And as the Lakers enter the building, there was a fierce look in their up and powering into the first week of the new year. Here's a brand new look at the power ranking. You look at the Lakers. Here we go. They are stuck in the same spot, still outside the top three. And I think for the Knicks, they are well beyond where we thought they'd be at this point in the season, making incredible strides and maintaining their momentum. So the New York starting five, we've got Hayes. Frazier is out there with Thompson. Then it's Kareem, and it's Havlicek in at the three. And for the Lakers, Moncrief is out there with Thomas. And it's Bird. Then there's McKayla, and it's Malone in at the center position. And so it's Frazier who'll bring it up for New York. And, you know, quite a bit of turnover for the Lakers in recent years, guys, from the front office to the coaching staff. I think it's always important for an organization to have a common voice to speak in stereo and have everybody in proper alignment from the top down to the court. Lays it up and banks it in. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Malone coming off a stellar performance against Detroit. Here's Bird. No good there. Some solid defensive work there from Havlicek. And as the Lakers have looked. Oh, oh what a finish! Good. Yeah, you know, we know this about Frazier. Tremendously creative, both as a scorer and as a playmaker. The Lakers off to a slow start. Six-point game. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense in that one. There's all kind of talk in the game today about stretching the floor because when you do that, everything else just becomes a little easier. Los Angeles shooting their first free throws here tonight, and he makes the first. Players are sure racking up a lot of miles, Clark. A lot of games, a lot of flights, a lot of late nights, early mornings, but in some ways it must be easier these days than it was, say, 20 years ago when you were playing. It's easier now than it was when I played. I mean, we had commercial flights and 6 a.m. flights. These guys now actually have charter services. And heck, I often think that the guys before me had it much worse yes. than yes. I did. So it's all relative. But clearly, it's hard, it's demanding, but they also have the very best of care in getting to and from the cities across the league. And without a doubt, one of the greatest small men we've ever seen. Zeke possesses the skill and determination to just take over a game at any point. And both free throws good for Thomas. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Thompson passes to Frazier. Back to Thompson. And Thompson throws it down. Boy, the leaping ability of Thompson. So impressive. Easily getting off the floor to jam it home. McHale outside. Six on the shot clock. It's Moncrief on the wing. 17-foot shot on the way. And it's in off the backboard. Boy, the fifth time's the charm. That's a big basket there. New York leading by four. Havlicek with it. And it's McHale picking him up. From 17 feet out, it's hauled in by Los Angeles. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Bird against Havlicek. Inside, Malone. Abdul-Jabbar with the block. And the massive wingspan of Abdul-Jabbar. Impressive. Kareem easily swatting away shots. And he gets it to go. 
Frazier's got his second bucket tonight. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Knicks team. And in their two matchups last season, they came up empty both times. Not really too shocking when you see how they fared overall. Exactly. I mean, when you lose as much as they did last year, you'll get beat by teams that aren't playoff powers for sure. And Los Angeles with some changes. Worthy's checked in for McCain. Irving comes in for Bird. And it's Johnson in for Moncrief. So for New York, their last game, a win against Los Angeles. Remarkable consistency from deep. You can't count on that every game, especially on the road. Yeah, you know, the defense had no answer for him. To do that kind of damage on the road, impressive. And the Lakers making a change here. Gervin's checked in. That's good from Applecheck. Yeah, and among the many things to like about Hondo, he is strictly about the team. Willing to take on any role, he just wants to win. Now here's Johnson. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Irving kicks to Johnson. Lakers passing it around. Just three to shoot. And again, the Lakers no good. And here are the Knicks. They're on a 15-6 run. And there's Havlicek. That's good on the assist by Walton. Havlicek's got nine points. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Outside worthy. Pass to Irving. And the Lakers with another miss. Boy, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Irving against Havlicek. Here's Barry. What a tremendous game he played against the Clippers. Great positioning on the footback. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Lakers trail by 13. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Gervin outside. And Walton sends it back. And how about the anticipation and timing? You know, we talk about Walton's offense. How about the defense, though, he provides for this team? Here's Barron. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And no good. Good work defensively by Gervin. Here's Johnson, and he uses the glass on the way up. Yeah, watching Johnson exert his will down low now, using his height and quick release quite well inside. Pass to Walton. Here's Archibald. Another guy really kicked it up a notch for them in that Clippers game. Havlicek outside. It's hauled in by Malone. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. I mean, if the defender is going to play off like that, then you know what's going to happen. There are going to be points put on the board. Havlicek with it from deep. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's the New York Knicks in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They've been... And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? Well, in that first quarter, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court for the Knicks. Walton is out there with Barry. Then there's Maravich, and it's Cowens in its center. Lakers trail by nine. Johnson outside. 
shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And Clark, when you think back to your playing days in high school, what memories come to mind? Well, just the fun of being able to have success all four years I was at St. Joseph High School in Cleveland, the way the city rallied around us um, my senior year when we had a chance to play for a state championship, unfortunately came up short. The teammates and coaches and teachers that I had a chance to enjoy those four years with all um, really fond, special memories for me. Now, here is Maravich. He picked up 21 points in their last win against the Clippers in Los Angeles. Here's Irving. And it's Cowens with the rebound. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. To the paint, here's Walton. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Magic Johnson picks one up. You know, one of the most complete bigs in the game. Walton can do everything for you at both ends of the floor. First free throw is good. And Los Angeles with some changes. Bird, he's checked in for Worthy. Moncrief comes in for Gervin. And Thomas subbed in for Johnson. So Walton nails both of them. Lakers trail by nine. Irving looking over the floor. Out left to the wing. Thomas against Frazier. Thomas kicks to Moncrief. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Irving. No good on the shot. Good D by Thompson. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds for the Knicks as New York retains possession. And New York making a change here. Hayes is checked in. Abdul Jabbar dishes to Maravich. Frazier against Thomas. Frazier kicks to Hayes. Just five to shoot. Thomas against Frazier. New York with a new 14. And Kareem throws it down. Well, you see the toughness and the instincts of Jabbar. I mean, always a threat for these second chance opportunities. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. And the rejection by Abdul Jabbar. Here's Bird. Out to Moncrief. Dishes to Irving. Thomas passes to McHale. Goes up again. It's rebounded by New York. Abdul Jabbar's got four rebounds now tonight. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. Irving misses. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the quarter. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleep. And the Lakers call time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Now here's Irving. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Bird outside. A three ball. No good. Shot missing. And New York the other way now. Here's Thompson. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Thomas feeling it out a bit. Looking to end the run. Her. Oh, that's blocked. You know, some might say Hayes plays the game angry. And there's there was definitely something angry about his defense there. What an emphatic rejection. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. And he has lost all confidence out there. Still not a single field goal made in the game. 
The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. The Lakers with the ball, following the score by New York. The pass to Bird. Looking to end his cold spell. Rebounded by Abdul-Jabbar. Abdul-Jabbar's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Hayes. The shot's good on the assist by Maravich. Hayes has got six points. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Los Angeles calls timeout. You know, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Malone's checked in for McCain. Worthy comes in for Larry Burr. Gervin's checked in for Irving. And it's Johnson in for Moncrief. Johnson's shot is off. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Hayes, no good. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. A chance to check out Los Angeles' upcoming schedule. On Friday, they'll go up against Chris Stapps, Porzingis, and the Dallas Mavericks. And then on Saturday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. Archibald passes to Hayes. Here's Cowens, worthy defending. Here's Archibald. No good with the triple. Lakers trail by 19. Gervin passes to Johnson. Down low. And the dunk by Worthy. Kevin, I tell you what, the peripheral vision, the court awareness of Johnson, this guy always knows when one of his teammates is open. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Passes it to Archibald. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. I see you, I see you. Outside Thomas, to the inside. Here's Malone, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, and Malone excels at putting himself in a great position, really, on both ends. Just a dynamite rebounder and interior score. And both free throws good for Malone. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. It's the... And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. New York came out ready to play. They launched into a 6-0 run with an... And that wraps up the... And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Without question, John Havlicek displaying his skills. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. Heard out there with Kevin McHale. Then there's Moses Malone. Then it's Moncrief. And it's Thomas in at the one spot. That's the group starting the second half for Frank Vogel. On the wing, Burr. Some solid defensive work there from Havlicek. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Thompson against Moncrief. A shot off that time. Good work defensively by Malone. Lakers trail by 20. Moncrief's shot is off. 
And a fast break now for the Knicks. Feeds to Frazier. Thomas with the block. And can't hit the shot. But they're saying he got hacked, so he'll head to the free throw line. It goes on Moses Malone. New York shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. The free throw drops for Abdul Jabbar. Clark, a big jump in scoring, but I think a lot of that is because of the prolific role players we have in the NBA now. Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. When you think about starters putting up points and then you have guys that fortify benches and can get points in bunches, the first name that comes to mind for me, Lou Williams. Mm -hmm. A designated role of scoring the basketball in limited minutes. And when he gets it going, watch out. <laughs> Nobody quite like Lou Williams putting it in the basket as a role player. He's perfect from the line this time. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Frazier the pass to Hayes. Pass to Havlicek. Six to shoot. Another shot. Abdul Jabbar with the bucket. Abdul Jabbar's got four points in the quarter. Nobody does it better than Kareem Abdul Jabbar in the paint. Magical, length, size, touch, unguardable inside. Here's Bird. Havlicek with the rebound. Havlicek's got four rebounds now tonight. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. The Knicks shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Guys, that says a lot about the poise of this team. I mean, they've been so calm, cool, and consistent at the stripe this year. I mean, that's impressive. Irving's checked in for Thomas. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Miravich, he's checked in for Thompson. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half, and that's taking care of business, fellas. Here's Bird, poked loose, stolen by Havlicek. To the middle, here's Hayes. That shot missing. Great D that time from Irving. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Malone passes to Bird. Shoots over Havlicek. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Bird's got his first two points of the night. Yeah, you know, when he's not beating you from the three or attacking the basket, Bird, very reliable from the mid-range. Takes a shot at the elbow. Here's Hayes. Second chance effort. Malone with the block. How about the quicks there by Malone to get up and, and reach for the reception? Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Frazier. And a fast break now for New York. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Good. It's Frazier who picks up the assist. Frazier's got three assists tonight. Unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning. I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Timeout called the Lakers. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays with a guarantee to create some high percentage shot. Some changes for the Lakers. James Worthy's checked in for McHale. Durbin comes in for Larry Burke. And Johnson in for Moncrief. Larry has to move on. Build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Here's Barry. Misses the chippy right there. 
Lakers have gone only one and five from the field since halftime. Very slow start offensively. Worthy and finished off by Worthy. And the dunk was nice, Kevin, but the move he made to free himself up was a thing of beauty. It sure was, Greg. What a savvy play to get into position for that jam. Heads up basketball, plain and simple, guys. Outside, Maravich. Shot clock at six. Good work defensively by Gervin. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Irving passes to Worthy. Sinks that one from the post. Worthy's got four points in the quarter. <laughs> Whoa, he really got his defender on his heels on that one. What a fantastic play, guys. Outside, Maravich. Now the pass to Archibald. Johnson with the block. Tell you what, the long arms and great wingspan of Johnson well used and suited for the shot tonight. Isaiah Thomas checked in for Irving. The Lakers on D. Barry the pass to Archibald. And again, it's the Knicks missing. You know, it's really surprising that they're up at this point, given that he struggled so mightily. Offensive rebound, knocked away. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock, and Walton kicks to Maravich. Nineteen seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Lakers trail by 20. Gervin passes to Thomas. He dishes it to Malone. Passes it to Johnson. Over Archibald. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's the New York Knicks controlling the game and finishing the... And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, platinum level dime drop in there, fellas. Accurate and on time. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. Alton is out there with Perry. Then it's Thompson. Then there's Maravich. And it's Archibald in at the point. Gervin against Thompson. Inside, Abdul Jabbar. Pass to Archibald. Here's Perry. Thompson outside. Just five on the clock. At three off the mark. And it's Thomas with the ball. He brings it up for Los Angeles. Their next game is at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. Boy, he's so crafty, Isaiah Thomas, and really unselfish. A pass-first point guard who knows exactly when one of his guys is open and how to get it to him. Here's Archibald. He's guarded by Thomas. Down low. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Lakers trail by 20. Gervin outside. A floater and the rejection by Abdul Jabbar. Walton the pass to Abdul Jabbar. The shot comes out, so Los Angeles will take it the other way. To the paint. That's good from Worthy on the assist by Johnson. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, out. Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Clark, over the last couple decades, the role of the big man has changed and required more skill outside shooting among them. Yeah, that's one of the things. And then the ability to move your feet defensively. Yes. Because the three-point shot spaces the floor so much, and a lot of times teams will have 
four, maybe five perimeter shooters out there regardless of size. So big guys, if they're going to play in that type of an alignment, have to be able to move their feet and effectively guard perimeter players and also make shots from the perimeter as well. Amazing to see guys that big out there sometimes with a one-on-one -on -one with a guard, like on the, on the yep. three-point line. No doubt. And also the big guys, we've got a ton of them, Kevin, across the league that can really knock down the three-point shot. And now the Knicks on the break. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And it's stolen by Moncrief. Pass to Bird. Hey, Clark, the NBA moved the presentation of the MVP award to after the conclusion of the final. Do you like that? Yes and no. I think you have two separate awards. You have you could have a playoff MVP or a finals MVP, which we have. And then you have a regular season MVP. The MVP is for the body of work done during the regular season. So I think there should be a clear separation between the two, quite honestly. So, uh, no, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest, Clark. Here's Havlicek, rebounded by the Lakers. Malone's got 11 rebounds in the game. The pass to Mike. And it's slammed in by McCann. Yeah, Kevin, that was really a nice look to the open man by Sidney Moncrief. He's got as versatile a skill set as any guard in the league. Frazier, the pass to Hayes. Abdul Jabbar against Malone. Frazier scanning the floor. Back to Abdul Jabbar. And you're talking about one of the most decorated superstars in the history of college basketball, but maybe the most impressive feat. He won three national championships, and Kareem has a way of affecting winning. And the first one at the line is good. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Lakers trail by 18. Thomas passes to McHale. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Malone trying to break free. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Lock at six. Outside Thomas. Launches a three. Nice D from Frazier. The Knicks leading by 18. Havlicek outside. Malone with the block. And they'll keep possession. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Knicks. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. And also, their second chance points have been a story all night as well. That's just pure effort and hustle. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Mark, should the NBA consider widening the court to even out the value of those corner threes? You know, that wouldn't be a bad idea, Kevin. But I also like the fact that there's a deep three at the top and on the wing. And then you've got a little shorter three if you can get to that corner. Widening the lane to make that three more in line or symmetrical with the um, deep three at the top. I kind of like having a uh, short corner three. I agree with you. Pass to Hayes. 132 left in the fourth quarter. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by McHale. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for the Knicks. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And so taking a look at their season record, this will be win number 31 on the year. 
And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. Yeah, and Greg, when it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. Johnson, the pass to English. Back to Johnson. Moncrief against Maravich. Stolen by Havlicek. Up top, Maravich. Over Johnson. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the foul against the Lakers. Pistol Pete oozing with natural talent. But behind the scenes, he puts in a lot of work, too. First one falls for him. Both teams will make substitutions. Maravich hits them both. Uh, and Maravich, the skill set, how savvy he is, and then the showmanship that he brings to the table. I, I don't know that we've ever had a guy more creative at the game of basketball. Pass to Wilkins. That's tipped. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Unzeld, the pass to Gilmore. Now, here is Maravich. Bucket is good. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Outside, Wilkins. Sweet little floater. Boy, he is quick off his feet and, and really stronger than he looks. Wilkins can burn you in that painted area. So no problem for New York as they get the win. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled. All right. Um, this is kind of a surprising game. I did not expect the 70 team to blow out the 80s team, but that's what happened. Uh, it was a blowout. You have Cream, the player of the game, 12 and 11 rebounds. You have Hondo, then four. Thompson, the Biggie, Frazier, Hyde, you got Pistol, Tony Archibald, Jolton, Barry, Cowens, Unseld, do even played one minute, Gilmore played two minutes, so. Uh, let's look at the A's team. Uh, you have James Worthy, 12 and 3, Magic, Isaiah, Honkree, Bird, Mikhail, Moses Malone, 11 rebounds. Wilkins, Dr. J, Gervin, DJ, English, Dantley. Yeah, I didn't expect the uh, 70s team to really win by this much over the 80s team. That's kind of a surprise, but that's what it is. Good game.